welcome to another Height and Ridley video tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you a great technique, it's one that I use all the time, for getting perfect control over your contrast. In summary, I'm going to add a new curves layer. I'll OK it immediately without making any changes. I'll then set the blend mode to overlay and drop the opacity down to 0%. Then I'll bring up the opacity, watching for what works best on the image. OK, on with the tutorial. Let's get our new curves layer. I OK this dialog box immediately without making any changes. I'm now going to set the blend mode to overlay. And you have to agree that is really ghastly. We drop the opacity down to 0% and then we bring the opacity back up watching for what works best. Now for me that looks quite good. Let's compare it to the original. So I'm going to switch this layer off and there's the original. Let's switch the layer back on again now in a moment I'm going to switch that off and on, off and on and while I'm doing that I want you to keep your eye on this area of the wall watching for the difference between the area in shade and the area in more direct light I also want you to keep an eye on this area on the blind and the wall and that way you'll see what's going on with the contrast there. You can also keep your eye on what's going on with this kilt. I think that's one of the areas where you can use that to judge exactly how the contrast is turning out. OK. Let's switch it off. There it is off. And that's it back on again. off once more and back on again off once more and back on again off once more and back on again I want you to have a quick look to see what happens if we over egg this effect by having the opacity set too high there it is at 26%, off, on. To my eye that's much too harsh. It may not look very harsh on the video tutorial just because of um, the technicalities of compression and uploading to YouTube and all that sort of thing. But when you come to do it on your own work, I think you'll agree that um, 26 is too high. It does depend upon the image and I find with my images it can be anywhere between 5 and maybe 13 percent uh, to work best for the particular image. But for this one, that's me dropping it back down again, around about 10 or 11 works just fine. All I have to do now is flatten the image and then save it and that's it done. I hope you've enjoyed watching and that you agree it's a great technique to add to your toolkit. Thanks for watching. Bye!